Good morning, Wink. Oh, good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday, April 5th. My eyes, I am dealing with allergies still. Guys, this stuff sucks. Let's do it together. Different angle today. Elephant, eggplant, edible. Eat. I couldn't think of any more E words. Yum. This is delicious, mom. Or maybe not. Okay, FaceTime to grandpa. Uh, now I'm gonna eat and then perfect my gardening plan because I need to go to Home Depot already before it gets too hot. I have made you breakfast. Men, they never realize how beautiful the plate is. It's a beautiful plate. All right, ate breakfast. I feel like I have my ducks in a row for what I need at Home Depot. I'm gonna be brave, go by myself and take Nick's truck, but don't really know how this is gonna go because I need a lot of dirt and I don't wanna pull around one of those giant things. We'll figure it out. I'm a big girl. Anyway, before we go, I need to change because it's hot outside and we gotta clean up this mess. All right, it's like, I don't know what time it is. I've literally never driven Nick's car, like alone, anywhere. So this is exciting times because I'm driving to Lowe's. All right, made it here, no problem. The thing that I'm nervous about is getting all of the dirt in like, I don't know. I don't want to use one of those giant flat cart things because they're very hard for me to push. All right. Oh, look at that barbecue sauce on my face. It is only 1130, but we're having lunch right now. I have had my phone inside charging, but I brought in everything and I mowed the lawn, picked up the dog poop to have a clean surface. And now I'm weeding. And then I'm going to water everything, put the grass seed out, even though I think I probably am supposed to wait until later but I think I might just do it and then start moving everything into place so we'll see but for lunch a leftover rib sandwich and some carrots yum all right before we go out a five minute tidy because this place is driving me insane it's crazy to me how much a five minute, 10 minute clean can really do because it's just looking so much better in here. I don't know. I get a little bit antsy when there's stuff everywhere. Anyway, I am just refilling the water we use to fill up baby's bowl. I'm gonna put ice in Nick's water. He's currently on a two hour run and it's hot outside. Ooh. And then I'm gonna chug a little bit more water and get back outside. But now we're committed to doing this together. How much, how much ice is too much? For that guy, probably a lot. We're doing good. You think that's enough? I think, wait for it. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's good. Perfect. All right, we're good. And hydration for the hot gal. You want some? It's so yummy. It's just great water. All right, I'm doing tiny rounds of different workouts. Um, two rounds, 20 pound bicep curls. A five, two rounds, five reps of 20 pound. I had to adjust because it was too heavy. I'm trying to cover all of this stuff that looks like blue rice. That's the grass seed. I'm trying to cover it with dirt. I've done that part of the front of the house and I need to cover this part more and then the other side. So I'm using this old dirt that has tons of worms in it and then the worms are flipping out and then I'm having to throw them onto the ground because they're gonna, well, they're not gonna die, but 
they're freaking out because I'm taking their dirt. So, <laughs> once this is all done, hopefully the grass will come back. Oh, look at that. Much better. Look at my hat. Even have some here. Hopefully it'll grow in between. A ton out front. Look at that weird dirt path. All right, I put baby inside because she was getting too hot. Um, next, I will probably break open the bird seed and get all the bird feeders good. And then it's time to actually start planting, I think. Well, no, I have one more pot to empty. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I emptied an entire pot just by putting dirt everywhere. Here's my last full pot from last year. I was too lazy to empty it and it looks disgusting now. And then all these guys are in the completely wrong like amount of sun for them. So the goal is to at least get them changed over today and then um, tomorrow we could do some more planting. But every day they're in the shade. It's a day they're closer to death. The pumpkins are probably dead to be honest. Okay, I probably shouldn't get distracted, but I am. I'm gonna try to move the giant tub of now winter clothes back in the basement because I took out, I brought up the summer clothes. Done, we love a strong, productive queen. Okay, back outside. I take it you're not coming? Okay, that's fine, I'll go by myself. Oh, you are coming, all right, let's go, come on. Whoa. Go for it, you little warm-blooded gal. All right, our first real qualm. So I have this planter, which was left outside all winter. And I had put mostly new soil in these four, five that have stuff in them. But fun realization, I just went to empty these three out um, just to put completely new soil in there. And would you know, this one was infested with ants. So I got as much out as possible. There was a lot in there and only a few in there. I'm not seeing any on the ones that I already have food growing in, but I don't know how that's even possible. Like I've been poking at it and looking, nothing. And the other one was like infested. So I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on using those, all of this for right now. Um, give it a few days, see what happens. Um, and if all is good, then I will do as I planned and plant herbs in there. But I don't want to invest time just for ants to eat all my things. And then all the stuff that was under this, like there was pots under here. I put it in this guy that has a lid. And I'm just gonna bake them basically to kill any ants. But Note to self, Alex, don't be lazy. This is why you have to use brand new soil. Wink, who are you barking at? Okay vlog, it is now 5.01. When Nick got home from his run, we tried to go to Lowe's, but, oh no, to the Walmart Super Center, the one that has the garden center for the seed starts, but it was so far, like not far, I guess, it, the traffic was awful. So we opted to just go over to Target because we needed some like food anyway. Um, and he needed some eye drops. Uh, whatever So we just went over there and found some tubs there, which was nice to know that they have them for a good price. I mean, I just use like um, Tubs you would use for like storing your Christmas decorations or something um, So we did that we just got home and I need to put you somewhere Just got home and Nick put holes in all of them so that tomorrow I can um, easily you know, plant stuff in there. Um, and then it says it's gonna rain. I'm hoping it does uh, so that the garden, everything can get like a once over. 
and we'll keep on keeping on tomorrow. I'm officially tapping out though because I need to go take a giant shower. My eyes are in so much pain. Not so much anymore, but they were for a while. And so I'm gonna go shower, wash my hair, my face, my eyes, everything, my clothes, and then we're making tacos for dinner. vloggy boys we are calling free well i had to go outside for like three or four minutes but we are relatively 99 percent pollen free washing my hair my face my eyes spray down my nose clean clothes did i wear this outside oof i to think about that but anyway i feel a lot better so um i am sorry do you ever like do the neti pot thing and then like your nose is just like dripping I have a good feast going. I'm making black beans right now. I just put in some chicken thighs with um, like butter and seasoning and then under was uh, onion and a bell pepper. And I made some guac. Now, I don't know, I'm on a roll. Nick was gonna make the chicken, but I was like, I'm kind of enjoying this. Like I kind of, it's kind of relaxing to me to like, tidy up, make dinner, and I like to make a little extra sometimes for like leftovers or for like lunch for the next day. Um, but now I'm going to, after have to toss in a load of the, like our kitchen towels, and then look at all this stuff to go in the compost. And then I think I'm going to, there was something I was like, oh, gotta do that. Oh, I think I wanna make some like red rice, like the Mexican rice, maybe. I haven't made that in forever and I'm not that good to begin with. So it might be an endeavor. But then we have leftovers. But do you eat? No, you don't eat that rice with the black beans, I don't think. But like, today we can, I guess. Giant load of towels. I am crazy. Like, I only use kitchen towels, napkins, rags and stuff for cleaning the counters, wiping my hands, and like obviously body towels. But like, there's something about it that I'm just like, bacteria but like a little bit of freaking windex i'm not like pressed about but i do in this moment feel the need to put some lysol disinfectant so we're gonna do that and get her going gotta turn off this i think tomorrow a big goal for me will be planting because i only have a little already i only have like two things of potting soil left so i think i'm gonna pot things that should already be in the ground so carrots any more radishes that i want to do i don't think i'm gonna do anymore and um lettuce and spinach i'm gonna get that going and then i just remembered i have some compost what is that i don't know at the farmer's market we bring our like it's not composted but it's like stuff that's it's like fruit and veggie waste and then in return you can get three little scoops of um like the composted dirt it's supposed to be really good for your garden and i was reading there's tons of my plants are supposed to have a ton of that stuff all right dinner is served in our new thrifty bowls so cute now it's time to do what we always do and watch love island 